So the crazy thing about polyatomic ions is they themselves are covalent bonds, such as the, one of the ones, let's just take one of the ones from the front. Inside the molecule itself are covalent bonds, but it itself has gained two electrons from the outside, so it has an overall two negative charge. So therefore, it can combine with some cations, uh, and then itself the actual particle is uh, ionic bonds in there. So the particle contains both covalent and ionic bonds in there, um, which is different to what you've learned in the past. But in the past, you went, you've learned that there's two types of molecules, covalent ionic, but actually um, there's no such thing as covalent or an ionic. Um, all covalent is, is saying that between two atoms, they're evenly shared. Um, which they never really are because at any one point in time they might be slightly over here which creates a slight negative charge and a slight positive charge which is called an induced pole um, and ionic bonds um, it's just that there's so many over here that this is considered positive and this one's considered negative and then you've got um, reality which is um, anywhere in between here where the electrons can be and so we typically call those um, polar covalent bonds. So there's no such real um, thing as ionic and covalent, they're just terms that we use to describe um, the amount of sharing and it's an arbitrary number and it difference, difference, uh, there's a difference between different textbooks and you're going to learn this in topic 4 so I'll leave it there. Um, so I hope that's blown your world away. All right, so polyatomic ions are covalent compounds with a charge, so they can now form ionic compounds as well. Uh, you have to memorize them. Now I've listed out uh, everything in your syllabus except for the carbonate one because uh, the carb they've also added HCO3 minus, which is just basically grabbing a H plus and throwing it on there. I don't know why they didn't do sodium hydrogen. I don't know why they bothered um, to add this one in here because that's just a combination. It's just the carbonate one. Okay, um, so you'll learn how to draw these. And actually, if you didn't know what the charge was, you can actually work it out with Lewis diagrams. That's topic four as well. Uh, and I've just added the I and the eight, the eight, and the eight. So you can see that the the eyes have one less oxygen than the eights. Um, and you also have nitrous and nitric acid. So the the X have the more oxygens than the than the us than us acids. But basically, the ones that are in bold, uh, you'll have to memorize, and um, that will get easier as you go along. So I wouldn't worry about it too much for the time being because repetition is the mother of learning and you'll learn these because you'll see them so often. And then when you get to topic four, you'll probably even be able to how to work them out from first principles.